In tonight's Ask Anthony, it's a story we hear often. You sit through a timeshare presentation just to get a free vacation or some type of gift, but after hours of listening to a sales pitch, you end up signing a contract and paying thousands of dollars for a timeshare you didn't plan to actually purchase. After thinking it over, you have regrets. So what should you do before you sign that contract? I have some advice for you tonight. Elena, tell me how much money you spent on this timeshare. 20000 $20,000. That's, that's a lot of money. Elaine Creeman emailed me for help after signing a contract for a timeshare in Orlando in May. Elaine and her 83-year-old husband feel like they were pressured to make the purchase, and now they want their money back. But they've had no luck getting a refund, so they turned to me for help. The one thing they didn't tell us during the whole presentation and the signing of the paperwork was we only had 10 days to cancel. First, let's start with your ability to cancel the contract. This is often called the cooling off period. State laws or the contract itself may include how long you have to cancel. If you do cancel, send a letter to the seller by certified mail and ask for a return receipt. Also, find out the true cost. There's typically an initial payment and even a yearly fee and travel costs. Then determine if all those costs are worth it. I paid $20,000 for points that le they led me to believe I could use for much discounted hotels and other travel, uh, rental cars, this and that. And now their prices are almost double what I can get myself. A warning sign, if representatives say today is the only day for the deal, the Federal Trade Commission warns the timeshare company sets the rates, so why aren't they available later as well? The more we said no, the more they kept trying to add on extra added benefits for free and extra added benefits here and, oh, uh, sort of played me against my husband like, oh, sir, don't you want to give your wife the trip of her dreams to Hawaii and all this other stuff. And we were just exhausted, ready to get out of there. Don't be afraid to say no. If you can't afford it or you don't want to make the commitment, you can walk away without making any final decisions. Take all the documents with you and review them away from the pressures of the presentation. And if you feel you've been scammed by a timeshare company, you can report it to the Federal Trade Commission, your state attorney general's office, and the Better Business Bureau. I am working to get Elaine and her husband a refund. Remember, if you have a problem you just can't solve, you can always email me at askanthony at firstcoastnews.com.